Oregon has roughly 4,000 dentists, many with hygienists and office staff, and few, if any, have worked in weeks. This is video we shot before the COVID-19 shutdown. Today, some are speaking out, worried it's too soon to go back in the time of COVID-19. Emily Robertson works in the front office of a dental clinic in Portland. I feel like this is worse than every other virus. You know, it's not, it's worse than the flu. It's, it, it lives in your droplets and using a high speed, you know, ultrasonic on your teeth that flings all kinds of debris everywhere. And you can only wipe down so many surfaces. She was the only one brave enough to talk on camera, but I've heard from several hygienists and others today who share that exact concern. The president of the Oregon Dental Association, Dr. Barry Taylor said, he also expects patients to be a bit worried. Yeah, I'm sure there will be a certain element of caution. I think the good thing is that dentists have a very long history of always being uh, excellent with their infection control and a long history of that you know, for the past decades. Uh, so, you know, we want to establish that they're safe to come back and we're going to, you know, do everything we can with what's available to uh, provide the highest level of infection control. The dental clinics are not able to open until May 1st, and there are sure to be many discussions over the next week on how to do that safely or whether it can be done safely. Emily Robertson said she tried to order masks for her office and found her supplier was out. She wonders how dentists will get enough protective gear. Are we going to use the same mask on every patient? Are we going to be able to use disposable gowns? I mean, I usually don't wear anything up at the front. Um, so am I going to be putting a mask on and gloves on and a gown on for those people who are coming up and being in close contact with me? Dr. Taylor agrees getting enough PPE could be a challenge. Well, that is certainly one of the challenges of going back and that, that may be one thing that slows us down a little bit from getting back to full capacity. But that's all right. You know, I think I think most dentists are wanting to kind of start cautiously, uh, slowly ramping up as they adapt to some of the new procedures they're going to be doing in their office to maintain social distancing. Back live now in Northeast Portland, I talked with the Dental Hygienists Association. They issued a statement late today that basically said hygienists should work with their dentists on best practices. I also asked the state about PPE. We're getting a huge shipment in Oregon over this next week, and then for two or three weeks after that, I asked if the dentist might have some of that since they donated almost all of their stuff to the medical community. Haven't heard back on that one yet. Back to you. All right.